Tim Kern of the Washington Times had a great article this week and got me thinking. The federal government has been punching Americans in the face for too long. That's what happens when government servants forget that they are indeed servants. Now the big bully of the year is the IRS, a brutal agency that Congress uses to beat money out of Americans to fund their political boondoggles. Add to that the TSA, Homeland Security, EPA, Forest Service, etc., all overstepping their constitutional bounds and trampling on American citizens. Think about this. The federal government compiles and shares information about us, our emails, phone calls, address, work, who we donate to, what groups we're affiliated with, the names and ages of our children, where they go to school, and so on. Well, why don't we do the same to them? Perhaps it's time for government workers and elected officials to start living under the same microscope. We need websites where we can share with each other the photos of government employees, where they work, where they live, what their affiliations are, what schools their children attend, what side businesses do they run, who their friends are, and what causes they support. Now, it doesn't cost much to buy equipment to monitor their phone calls and emails. Oh, you can bet they would be really upset if we did to them what they do to us. But perhaps unorthodox tactics is what it will take to finally get the message across that we the people will defend our freedoms. This is Wild Bill for America saying, think about it. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God, again.